Hello, my YouTube friends. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use this cool effect for your live stream in OBS. And it's totally free as well. So, let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second and leave me a comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. This really does help YouTube to share this video with a wider audience. And my analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. If you're one of those 80%, please consider subscribing. It really goes a long way towards helping me to continue to create content that helps you. And it's totally free. So thanks. Big thanks to Own for sponsoring this video. Own is a website that offers anything a Twitch streamer could possibly want. On Own.tv, there are thousands of overlay packs with alerts and stingers built in, as well as emotes and badges, and like I said, just about everything you could want. But what really excites me is the Own Pro site. On Own Pro, you download a plugin for OBS, and in OBS, you can browse and select from thousands of overlay packs that download and are set up completely right out of the gate in OBS. You can add alerts and labels and modify the text and even create custom layouts in just a few minutes. And they all have custom stingers that are set up with the profile so you don't have to do anything. You just download them and they're ready to go. In just a few minutes, you're gonna have a professional stream that looks like you spent a million bucks. The best part is for just a few bucks a month, and I mean less than that crappy Netflix subscription you never use anyways, you're gonna have access to every single one. So you could change it up on every stream in just a few minutes if you really wanted to. So take a second and check out Own TV and Own Pro down below there are links in the description for each one. If you have the means to support the sponsors that support this channel, it goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. This is a green screen effect, so be sure you have it up and lit properly. If you don't have one, you can check out the videos linked in the description for a free green screen solution. Just keep in mind, the best solution is always going to be a real green screen. There is also a link in the description if you want to check out the inexpensive green screen that I use. Here we are in OBS and I have my camera set up. I'm going to go ahead and just adjust my chroma filter here so you can get a little bit of the idea of how this is done. Obviously, I'm in front of a green screen and I'm just going to adjust my color spill to remove some of the green edges around me and I'm going to play with the contrast contrast and brightness and basically I'm just trying to eliminate a little bit of the green spill that's coming out. The screen is colored pretty much perfectly but we want to reduce as much of that green as we can without being too heavy-handed and I think that works right there. It looks pretty good. Now we still have a light edge around us at some points but if we put a background in here you're really not going to be able to see that. So next we want to just go ahead and we're going to create another scene and these scenes are going to be for the color that follow us around. So I'm gonna call this one NS White and click OK. And what we're gonna do then is in sources, we're gonna add a scene and it's just gonna be our camera scene. And we're gonna right click on our scene and select filters. And then we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to color grading. And now all I need to do is select all lift and you can see now we have a completely white frame. So now we're gonna add a new scene. This one's gonna be NS Red and I'm gonna click OK. We're gonna click plus and go to scenes. And once again, we're gonna add that camera and then we're going to right click on the scene and we're going to go to color grading and we're going to basically go in here in the color grading and we're going to just lift all of the reds that are here so gain and gamma and all of these we're just going to push these all the way up to the top offset and the red tints we're going to push those all the way to the top and you can still see we're not getting exactly what we want but when we adjust the saturation right here boom that's what we want. So we'll click close and we're going to click plus and we're going to add another scene. This one's going to be NS blue and we're going to go and in sources, we're going to add our scene camera and then we're going to right click on our scene blue 
and select filters, then go to color grading, click OK, and we're going to adjust all of the blue filters up. And this could be a little bit on the repetitive side, but that's why we use nested scenes so we don't have to do this over and over again. Just that saturation up, and there we go, that's what we're looking for. And let's add another one. This one is going to be green. So we're gonna type NS green, click OK, add our sources, go to our scenes and add the camera source and right click on the scenes, filters for green. We're gonna click the plus. We're going to add our color grading and you should get this now by the time we get to the third one we're just going to lift all of the green in here and adjust the saturation and boom now we have all of our different colored cameras in here we're going to click the plus and now we're going to do a main scene where we add them all together then i'm going to click the plus and we're going to add these by what we want on the bottom so we want the red on the bottom first and then next, we're going to add a scene and we're going to add the blue. You can see it pushes the red down, so blue's over top of it. We're gonna go to scenes and we're gonna add the green. It pushes the blue down, so now the green's over top of the blue. Now we're gonna go to scene and we're gonna add the white and that's gonna push that down again, so the white's on top. And now we just need to add our camera and that will be the top layer. So what I like to do is I'm gonna select white and I'm gonna grab the corners for white and we're gonna just drag it out. We're gonna give our a little bit of a white outline or halo or whatever you want to call it I think this is such a cool effect it kind of it's kind of jumpy there you just got to play around with it and there we go now we have a little bit of a white outline effect now I'm gonna right click on white and go to filters and we're gonna click the plus and we're going to add a render delay and click OK and for this delay I'm gonna add a hundred milliseconds and click close and now you can see when I move that white is delayed just a little bit and we're gonna right click on the green go to filters we're going to add a render delay in for that and we just have to bump this up instead of 100 it will be maybe 150 175 let's try 175 and there we go so we see that's delayed a little more than the white that's pretty cool i'm going to adjust that we're going to make that 150 i think i like to use a 50 increment when i'm setting this up and then we can adjust it later i'm going to go into blue right click go to filters we're going to add the render delay once again and I'm going to add 200 millisecond delay to the blue then I'm going to right click and go into filters for red click on the render delay once again and this one is going to be 250 or let's go with 300 there we go so that looks pretty cool that's the effect we're looking for now I just want to kind of even out the delay for each one so it looks like it's one flowing motion and you can see like the red is a little larger so I'm going to go into the blue and I'm going to adjust it to 220 25 and there we go now we're getting a little bit more of what we're looking for here I'm just finally tweaking everything to get it to look the way I want but it's pretty simple there we go and that's what I'm looking for this is such a cool effect it's so easy to set up and now all I really have to do is click the plus down here and I can add an image for whatever background I want to load so I'm just going to use my standard background image and there we go we'll just drag this all the way to the bottom and now we have a really really cool cool effect and you know it doesn't look like we're using a green screen it's just a lot of fun I love that effect and it's so easy if you want to see an overlay effect that lets you put video or images over yourself in a live stream check this video out once again big thanks to own for sponsoring this video links to owned and our other sponsors are down in the description below under sponsors supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.